Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Jay from Ninjago. So I'm going to draw the character holding a staff and in a kicking position. So let's start with the head and I'm going to sort of aim the body pointing in that direction there. So we're going to start with the face. Start with the upper part of the mask, starting on the left and curve up towards the right. Now you can see that the right side is a little bit higher than the left because I'm tilting the head a little bit. From here I'm going to take the left side and curve down. And on the right side, I'll curve down in the opposite direction. So you see there's sort of like brackets on either side. From this, these two ends, I'm just going to connect them, but I'm going to come up in the middle where the nose would be. Coming up, down, and then out to the right side. So it's creating a little bit of a wave and a little bit of a pushed up center here. Let's go ahead and draw the eyeballs. So on the left side of this hump, I'm going to draw a circle. And on the right side, I'll draw that same size circle. On the top left corners of those circles, I'm going to draw a highlight. So I'm going to imagine the light coming down in this direction. So I'm going to draw a tiny circle on the top corner and then color everything else in black. Do the same on the right side and color the outside in black. Now let's give him some angry eyebrows. So we're going to draw one eyebrow coming down this way, but Jay has a little cut in his eyebrows. So we're going to start up here in the top of the eye and come down in the angle. From here, I'm going to come up towards the center of the face by going upwards. I'm just going to thicken this up just a little bit. I'm going to leave a gap here. I'm just going to draw a little line coming out the other side there. So you can see there's a little slit in the eyebrow. On this side, I'm just going to complete the eyebrow. I'm just going to go all the way across the top. In the center here, I'm going to come up in an angle, maybe a little bit longer. And I'm just going to thicken up the inner part and just taper it so it gets a little bit thinner as it gets to the edge. From here, let's draw in the mask. So I'd like to start on the profile side. So just beside the side of the mask here, I'm going to draw a curve coming from the top down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to locate the center. So in between the eyes, I'm going to come down to about here. This is the bottom of the mask. I'm going to round up this end, come in, and then come down towards a point. I'm going to round up this point, so just creating a little curve at the bottom. Now I'm going to curve out towards the side of the left side here. So I'm going to start on the left and just create a curve going right towards that center piece right there. From this side, I'm going to round out the end. I'm going to come up the side of the left side here. So just a slight curve going up the side of the mask. From here, I'm going to come up to a point. Now it's not going to be a steep or sharp point, so it's going to be a rounded point here. So starting on the left, I'm going to curve up. And then from this point, I'm going to curve down on the right side. And just meet up with that side on the right. From here, let's draw a few wrinkles in the mask. So, it's going to be a little bit wrinkly around the bottom here, so I'll start on the left. I'm just going to draw a curve across like this, and then just down here, I'm just going to curve one going along the bottom edge like so. Let's go ahead and draw the symbol in the center of the forehead. It kind of looks like a Y with three hashes along it. So I'm going to start at the top. So in the center, I'm going to come up to the top here and draw a point. This is my center point. From here, I'm going to go out to the left, and then out to the right, kind of like a V. I'm going to do two lines going across the top. From here, I'm going to come down, so just tracing that edge. Now from here, I'm going to draw the outer points. So there's like three lines coming out this way and three lines coming out that way. So let's go out with the line and I'm going to curve back towards the middle. I'm going to come down just a little bit and then go straight out again. So I'm going to repeat this curve three times. Go across, short line coming down, going across again. And then the final one, I'm just going to pull it in, and I'm going to come down the middle. From here, I'm just going to curve up. So I'm going to make sure that I come up to that same height as this bottom line here, going across, and then I'm just going to pull out sort of like a three-edged square, or like a three-edged rectangle. Coming across like that, going up one more time, going across, up, and I'm just going to close that gap off there. So it kind of looks like a Y with three lines in between. Okay, now, the pose I'm going to put this character, I'm going to have him holding this big staff with a blade on the end. So, we're always going to have to draw the things that are placed on top before we draw the things in behind. So, what I'd like to do is plan the angle of my blade, or the uh, staff. So, I'm going to have it coming across here. So, I'm going to have to place two hands on the staff right about here. So, what I'd like to do is draw in the hands first. So, from here, I'm going to imagine the, the staff coming down this way. So I'm going to draw the top edge of this hand here. So going straight across in that same angle. From here, I'm going to connect that point 
and then just come up to this side here for the hand. So I'm just going to curve around and then just come up like that, leaving a little gap there. From here I'm going to draw the wrist. So here I'm just going to draw a curve, almost like a half circle, tucked in. And then I'm going to draw the inner socket of the arm. So just coming out a little bit, drawing a curve around that half circle. I'm just going to stop right there because I'm going to have to fill that in after I've drawn in the staff. From here, on this side, I'm going to curve up towards the inner part of the elbow. Now this side, I'm going to overlap and draw a curve up into the shoulder. This is going to come down, right about there. Now I want to connect this to that side of the arm. So I'm coming in like so. Okay, so we got that. Let's go up to the other side. So now the staff is going to come up this way. So I'm going to take that hand and almost duplicate it up on this side here. So let's go ahead and draw the upper side of the hand first, just like I did here. And then we're going to curve the top part of the hand, leaving that same gap on the top. Let's go ahead and draw that wrist socket. We're going to draw that same outer part or the inner part of the arm. So coming out here, drawing a curve. I'm going to stop right about there. From this side, I'm going to curve this behind the head. Now here, I'm not going to fill this in quite yet because I want to put in the staff in the center before I draw in all that detail. So let's go ahead and do that. So from this inner part of the hand to here, I'm going to draw a straight line. So I'm just going to come down a little bit and just draw a straight line. I'm going to come down again. I'm going to duplicate that line just down here just to show the thickness of the staff. Coming across. Now that I have that in place, I can go ahead and finish off the hands. So from here, I'm just going to curve this in behind the staff. I'm going to finish this line of the inner part of the arm. And I'm going to take that corner and pull that right in behind the head. Let's go ahead and draw the bottom part of the hand because this thing actually goes all the, all the way around and wraps around the, the staff. So I'm just going to curve that like that. Now here, I can't quite do anything yet because I haven't finished this side. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm going to imagine this top line coming across behind the hand and it'll continue here. So I'm just going to do a short line and do the same thing with the bottom side. So imagine this coming through behind the hand and then continuing on just like that. Now we can go in and wrap the hand around under here, wrap that part around and then here I'm just going to complete this wrist by just wrapping that circle around that staff. Okay, so we got that. Let's go off and finish the end of the staff. So I'm going to imagine it's coming out here. You'll just see a little bit of it sticking out past that hand. So two lines, and then I'm just going to round out the tip just to keep it simple. Now, let's get into the body. So the upper part of the body, I'm going to have this, it's almost like a cube, but turned this way. So we're going to have to play with the perspective just a little bit. So we're going to see this arm coming through. So we're going to have to see the tops of the shoulders. So I'm going to draw a line from the front to the back. From here, I'm going to draw an angle. So almost similar to this line, angle, I'm going to go across the back and then just up in the front here. Now the body is going to be angled this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start underneath the chin, draw an angle like that. I'm going to take that same line angle and start from this corner, and just draw that down behind that arm, and the same thing here, just drawing the same angle line. So three angle lines in the same direction. Okay, from here, I'm going to draw the left leg stepping forward, this leg kicking up. So let's go ahead and draw this part first. I'm going to finish off the body. So this side here, I'm going to imagine coming down. The waist, I'm going to draw to about here. So coming down past the, or behind the staff, coming down to about here, I'm going to draw a line. Now this line is almost going to follow that same curve or that same direction as the staff. So I'm just going to draw a line. This is going to go behind the hand. Now from here, let's draw the front face of the leg. Just to keep this simple, we're going to have to draw the front face and then work our perspective in after that. So from this corner of this body, I'm going to draw a curve. Now this is the hinge of the leg. We're going to go across and draw that same curve on this side. Let's connect those two points with a straight line. You can see I'm working this line in the same angle as almost the staff. From here, let's draw in the lower part of the leg. So I'm just going to draw a big curve like this. I'm going to duplicate that twice. Do another curve like that. Now I'm going to connect those two points with a straight line. Go across like so. Now we're going to draw the top part of the foot. Now this foot comes out this way. So I'm going to change the angle coming down in the opposite direction, going towards the left. 
So two equal length lines. Connect those two points with a straight line. Again, following that same direction as these lines here. Now from the tips of the corners, I'm just going to pull a line down. Just an angle like this. And then connect the front two lines with a straight line like so. Now we're going to have to pull this back. So we're going to draw the inner part of the leg now. So you can sort of see this is the shape of the actual the leg, so the front part of the leg. We have to draw some perspective now. From this corner, I'm going to pull this back to the back of the heel. Now this is going to curve up, but I'm going to have to draw the hinge in the center of the body here. So let's go back up here where the leg meets the body. I'm going to draw a curve like this. I'm going to draw that twice. Now I'm going to connect those two points with a straight line. So just close that off. Now from here, from the heel, I'm just going to pull that right in to that hinge. Okay, so we got that leg, and let's get into the kicking leg here. But before I do that, I'm going to have to finish the staff. So, here I'm going to draw a couple little notches in the end of the staff that holds the blade on. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve. It looks like this. From here, I'm going to draw two straight lines coming out. So you can see I'm following that same line direction all the way down. From here, I'm going to draw another curve. Now this gets bigger, so you can see it's extending beyond these two lines. I'm going to come down in that same angle, and then I'm going to close that off with a curve. Now from here, I'm going to draw a little hinge here. So I'm going to draw a smaller curve on the inside. Draw two short lines coming in that same angle. Now from these ends here, I'm just going to pull and tuck those in behind that form there. From here, I'm going to draw the head of this sort of, I guess it's like a dragon looking blade. So from here, I'm going to draw a curve. It goes like this. Let's close that gap off there. I'm going to draw a couple horns on the top. So a curve going up and then back down. I'm going to go back up. And then from here, I'm going to do a little wave. So coming in and then pulling that down like that. From this point, I'm going to curve around for the top of the eye of this dragon blade, I guess it's called this. And then from here, I'm going to draw the eye, the bottom of the eye. Let's go to the tip. So up here, I'm going to come up on the forehead of this dragon face, go up with the curve to the tip of the blade. Now from here, I'm going to curve down. I'm going to curve down. Now from here, I'm going to come along the front edge of the blade, so changing directions with a curve. Curve like that. Now from this tip, I'm going to curve in. I'm going to draw a couple barbs. So from this point, curve out. Now from here, I'm just going to pull that right into that line there. If you want to draw a little bit of detail in here, I'm going to start just in here, drawing a curve to the front of the blade, leaving a gap. I'm going to come down, and then I'll connect that point to here with a reverse curve going the opposite direction. If you want, you can add a little bit more detail in here if you want. So I'm just going to draw a curve going up, another one just sort of tapering out. And just close that off like that. Let's draw one more up here. And just close that off. Okay, so we got the blade. Let's draw in the leg. So here, we have to draw the inner part of the leg first, kind of like what we did here, but we'll draw that side in first. So from this side, we're going to draw a curve. This is the inner part of the hinge. From this corner, I'm just going to pull that straight back behind that leg. Now we're going to see the bottom curve of this leg, so it's going to have to go in behind the staff. So from here, I'm just going to curve to the heel, just with one smooth curve. So it's tucked in behind the staff, and it continues on behind there, okay? So from this point, I'm going to go up in an angle, just a straight line going up to the toe. From here, I'm going to draw an angled line, come down for the toe. So this is this part right here over on the right side. From this side, let's draw the front of the leg. We'll just close that off. Now we want to draw some perspective. From these three corners, we're going to pull a line in the same direction. So starting from the top, we're going to go across. From this corner, we're going to go across. So you can see they're all in the same direction. From here, I'm going to do another line. So this line here and this line here should be the same length. We're going to connect those two lines with a straight line coming down. Then we connect those two points with a straight line going across. We're going to probably see a little bit of the top front of the leg. So I'm just going to draw a curve like that, just following that same line there. On the bottom of the feet, we're going to see a little bit of a socket. So I'm going to take this line and just make it smaller, just on the inside. So just tracing 
all the way around. And then for the bottom, because we're going to see the bottom edge, we're just going to draw a line underneath like that. Now, let's get into the fun part where we add some detail. So here, I'm just going to simplify the, the shoulder strap here. So up on this side, on the corner of the chest, I'm going to draw a curve. Going behind the staff, I'm going to make that twice as thick. So I'm just going to draw another line inside. And we're going to do our very simple skull. So we're just going to draw a curve like this coming down and then two angled lines. Okay, so that's as far as I want to go with that detail. Over here, let's draw the strap. So from here, I'm just going to draw a curve going to the side of the body, and we're going to draw that twice. So I'm going to draw another curve going down like this. Up here, let's draw some of the daggers. So circle, circle just touching that line, and we're going to draw two dots inside. Underneath here, we're going to draw two lines coming down, just underneath each circle. And then this strap is going to go underneath that arm. Let's draw in the belt. So right here, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. This is going to be for the knot. And then I'll draw another curve like this. And then I'm going to draw a line going right into there. Let's draw another curve here, just behind. And then right from the center of this curve, I'm just going to pull a little line out like that, just to show a little bit of wrinkle in the belt. We're going to draw the actual belt end. So one curve coming down, one right behind it and then just draw a straight line across. Let's draw on a knee pad here. So we're going to start up here, following the same line angle, we're going to draw the top. Let's draw two angled lines coming out. So you can see it's sort of spreading out this way. I'm going to pull those in, and then I'm going to just close that off with an angled line. Let's surround the inside with that same line. So we're just going to trace around the inside and then we're going to draw two angled lines inside like that, just to make it look like padding. We're going to draw the bottom edge of the strap. So up here, draw a line across, right behind the knee pad, and then one up at the top. And then right here, we're going to pull this all the way to the back of the leg. Let's draw one more strap here. So you can see this strap on this side of the leg. So we're just going to pull two lines down right about there. And one last thing I want to do before we finish off here is draw the little hinge right here. I almost forgot this. Let's put that right in there. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Jay from Ninjago. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, share this with your friends and get them to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.